I, I wish I pushed live at that moment. You should <laughs> just get ready. I'm like this. <laughs> yeah, we're like, we're gonna hold up. We're going live. Oh, oh. oh we're ready. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Proper adjustments. I should have pushed it right then. That's what I should have done. Uh -huh. But hey, welcome for you too. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, hey everybody, welcome to the Duck Nilla NFL Cast. We are here right now, ready for the Week 18 wrap up, playoff predictions. But first, we got to get into some very serious news. Um. It, you may, if you're on YouTube right now, you can already tell looking up at the scoreboard what happened. I don't know why Duck's happy. Because <laughs> we, we, we had the double knockout. We tied. Why wouldn't I be happy? 155 to 101. <laughs> we tied at 155, 100, and one tie. I, I we got the double knockout. Back. Oh, By the way, this was back. the image I was trying to add our faces to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been imagine. way better. Yeah, just imagine our faces there. Yeah, you know. and a little more plump. <laughs> no, no, we are that fit. We are both that fit. Okay. Yeah, that tan too. I am way. You know, I am. Put some hundo. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we tied. I'm surprised we tied. I'm more upset, which we talked off stream, uh, off cast about, which is uh, we uh, we hit a hundred for losses which i was like i excuse me i did not want to hit that but as you said earlier you talked about professional picker like we're not that far off baby and we missed a hey. week hey not too bad next year i won't you know i won't play games from the beginning i'm gonna have to whoop you right from the beginning because if i wasn't messing around the first few weeks this wouldn't have been a tie okay just telling you <laughs> wouldn't be a tie Oh, I disagree. With that said, though, let's get into our recap real quick. First game up, we had the Chiefs beating the Broncos. The Broncos actually really did try to win this game, and uh, they kept it competitive for a minute, just a minute, 28 to 24. I was really rooting for the Broncos in this game, and I thought they were going to win. Uh, I just want to say one thing, though, and apologize to the Mahomies. For absolutely nothing. You're going to lose. Better, you want a preview? I'm picking the Steelers later. Oh, There's your preview. Oh, I already got my first win. There's your that preview, baby. We're going to talk about it later. Oh, my Sorry, gosh. my homies. For absolutely nothing. <laughs> Broncos almost beat the Chiefs. Here's the thing about the Chiefs. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say they adjusted the offense. The offense looks a lot better. And even Mahomes. Does look, I will give Mahomes some good kudos for, you know, picking up the pieces and making uh, corrections to how people were attacking their offense. It shows the good teams do this. The this is why Brady's really good. It's because he they adjust to the things the defenses are doing to him. If Mahomes could do this, this he's the kid's going to go far. He's going to be a Hall of Famer if he could continue to do that. And you know, and have some some semblance of success because you don't need to win Super Bowls to make the Hall of Fame. You, we, you don't need to. So the he's on track to be a Hall of Famer. He's just got to keep it going. He already got the one win if he needed it. Yeah, you he's know? got that the one win. Yeah, he, he yeah he's just got to have a a good career, and he's well on track for that. You know, uh, my homies, you know, record it, clip it. There you go. That's that's the the kudos you're getting from me. Uh, but with that said, he's got some fundamental problems This he needs to address as well. We love his sidearm throws. You know, Stafford got criticized mm -hmm. early for his career for it, rightfully so, too. Um, but, yeah, he, you know, sometimes he just looks like like the throws just don't go there. And you're like, man, that's just not right. And um, I'm really big. I've said this in the past. QBs for a long for a QB to have longevity in the NFL, you got to be accurate with the ball and you got to be a pocket passer when you need to be. You can run all over the field, but I need you to sit in that pocket and make the inaccurate, correct throw. I mean, like Stafford. Yeah, Stafford is a pocket passer, but he needs to be far more accurate with the ball. He could he could put some lasers down on pinpoint precision, but then he can make terrible decisions. Which we could go into long. We will get into Stafford, uh, you know, a little bit later in uh, decision making. So, 
But uh, give me your your uh, thoughts on the Chiefs Broncos. Um, Chiefs are where I thought they'd be from the beginning of the year. You know, they were a little bit hesitant beginning of the year, the way they were playing. Um, this game was probably too close. Uh, I don't know if it really mattered, even if the Chiefs, you know, lost. Their, I mean, there's no playoffs, right? Yeah. Um, it was harder for the Broncos. Uh, more I than mean, anything. also important, they Broncos did not get the number one seed. Yeah, they it, they had to have more things happen besides them just winning, right, to get that number one seed. Mm -hmm. um, so, no, I, I like the Chiefs. I really think they have potential to do really well in the playoffs. So uh, we'll talk about those. But, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, Holmes definitely has got to get more comfortable in the pocket, you know, not always mm -hmm. having to feel like he needs to run out because um, he can make those passes. He can make deep pass. He's got a strong arm enough to where – even if he's on his back foot throwing that ball, he could throw it really well still. Oh, he could um, throw it. He's got, he's got himself, an arm. He know? could throw it. Yeah, like I said, I had a good friend of mine. Um, I don't know if he wants his name released, but a good friend of mine came out and said that uh, he thinks Mahomes needs competition behind him. And, like, to just keep him, keep, you know, be like this, you know, kind of like a Rodgers and a Jordan Love. When, when Love came into the picture – Roger started – he started playing lights out. I don't think he uh, – that may be the beginning of the year he needed that little fire, but I don't think he needed that at all. I think. Well, remember, that was last year, and he – Yeah. MVP, you're not, you're not by see, the way. We're not seeing Rodgers go anywhere. We're not – you know, it's just like you're going to put fire on Tom Brady. Uh, he's going to have off games, right? We're not talking about – um, you know, the mid-tier quarterbacks of the league right now. We're talking about some of the top-tier quarterbacks, and I, I believe Mahomes is in one of those because he's been to multiple Super Bowls. He's won one, and he has potential to go to another one this year, you know, if they can. And they're, 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 they're hitting the stride at the right time. Um, mm -hmm. You know, this is the fourth season in a row that they've won 12-plus games. That's huge. Very Don't impressive, that right? That's a, it's the fifth team in the NFL history that's ever done that. I mean, we're talking that's that's that is massive. Mm -hmm. So Andy Reid is one of the best coaches now, of all time. That resets, right? That resets. That doesn't matter anymore. Now it's about what can you do for the playoffs. We're, and they're able to see a lot of that stuff over, you know, spill over from the from their their um the way they've been playing. They've done it in this in the past. Mm -hmm. Make Which, it to the playoffs. So. We're gonna talk a lot about health here. And um to you know, I, I'm really big on health of your team matters more. The health of your team, yeah, the depth of COVID. your team. No, we're not talking, talking yeah, no. Injury wise, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. This is the time and this is also the time, you know, regular season players are sitting for minor injuries. This is you, players aren't sitting for minor injuries to the, these weeks, you know. Right. All right, but moving on to the next game we had. We had the Philadelphia Eagles uh playoff playing Philadelphia Eagles getting demolished by the Cowboys in their third string uh, team. Lobber knockered. This was uh, embarrassing for the Eagles. Like, I am terrified for their future in the play. I uh, I, 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 mean, we'll, we'll get to the picks, uh, potentially one and done. We'll get to that. But this game overall, Dallas looked really good depth-wise. I have to say that. Yeah, I, I like Dallas. I mean, I've, I've been liking them all year. This is a different team than we've seen in the past few years. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to see some potential out of them. They're, I think they're going to – they have potential to do pretty well in the playoffs. So it kind of depends on that that first game for them. They can get that jitters out because it's been a little bit for them. But, uh, um, yeah. For sure, 100%. I mean, let's see. It's a home game for them. You know, so they're playing San Fran. Um you know, we'll see. Could be a good game, though, that's for sure. I can't wait to watch that one. You, you want to know what a surprising one for me? And people were making so much about this game. And I'm happy that my Detroit Lions beat the Packers 37-30, to 30, but I'm also pissed. The, the, we'll get into the Jags winning later. But uh, the Lions could have had the first-round pick. This is great mm -hmm. for them, for their future, though. Uh, this, this is overall amazing. This is the way you want to end a season if you're a rebuilding team. You know, bottom of the barrel. You need this to help build your core. Uh, I'm I'm super excited for the Lions and the Jags for that matter. Really good for them mm -hmm. as well. 
to win especially the jack especially the jack we will get into that that's that's our own right now we're talking about the lions and the packers uh lions though right this is amazing you know this is the lions fan speaking um this shows how good their head coach is their head coach dan campbell can pull this team together and just mind you they we had starters playing for green bay Aaron Rodgers played the first half. And mind you, the Lions were winning then. David, uh, back at, oh my God, I'm a, a, sorry, back at Kari, about Kari, I, I'm butchering his name. Best left tackle in the NFL, first game back from his injury. This is the type of stuff we talk about for health, getting players back at the right time. This could be huge. Um, I, the O line is already pretty good for Green Bay, but mm-hmm. this is this is this is gonna be great for the run game, um, right. which which they're already potent at. But Aaron Rodgers is a veteran player where like he, he could get the ball out, you know, just as fast as the best of them, if not the best of them. So there's no real worry for me on him. But th- getting a piece like this back is gonna be fantastic. Um, and again, for me, the Lions' future—that's where it's at, baby. What about yourself? How do you feel about this one? <laughs> um, no, that this, yeah, this, this was a good yet bad thing for the Lions. You know, um, they needed to win that. They needed to lose this game really to help them out in the long run. But it also, like you said, I think it gives them a little bit of uh, a little relief. You know, knowing that they can win some of these games, and and this this could have been the other way if if you know Aaron Rodgers was playing the full game. You know, could have Packers could have won this game, uh, but it could have gone both ways. It was nice to see them scoring some points. The Lions, mm-hmm. um, you know, on, moving on a the ball that's, too, very impressive. Yeah, that's that's good to see. Um, you know, quarterbacks definitely going to be the. I don't the know what to of think of golf. I, I, I don't. You're not going to see him. This I, I this you won't I hated golf gonna, for the majority of this they're season. They're going to draft or trade. Um, and there's some nobody talk with, wants you know, golf. Who's going to want uh, that Vikings contract? Might be a possibility. In division, you know, you're going to trade a QB in. Yep. When does the last time we saw that? Um, Favre went to the Vikings. They didn't they trade, trade him, but he still went to the you know in. I'm talking the trades. No, you don't see that too often. But uh, Kirk Cousins is not. I what I personally trade for him? No, I would never even do that deal. Um, I don't think Kirk Cousins is that great of a quarterback. But the Lions are looking for something, you know, and this is an opportunity to them maybe find somebody. Maybe not. It's a first round, but maybe it's a second round and they kind of just pick up some of the key key players that they need for offense and defensive line. I think those are the biggest ones right now. Even even I was even looking it into, you know, the mock drafts right now. Browns at, at 13. They're having to pick an offensive lineman. It's like, wh- why? Because we need wide receivers desperately bad. But it's you know it's one of those things. Those are the those are the foundation of your team, your offense and defensive line, uh, and quarterback of course. But you know if you have those lines, it's going to help you out. So I think the lines need to focus on those two and then go from there. So maybe golf is the option. I don't know. I, I don't. But I overall, really don't. I don't. I see the Green Bay doing really well in the playoffs this year. I mean, Aaron oh. Rodgers is just. Aaron has right he now, so. ha- oh that and he has a very <laughs> massive chip on his shoulder. Oh yeah, and that team oh, along with it, some of the news that came out was um that Aaron Rodgers was going to hold out if they made it to the Super Bowl, and that he was going to purposely right. sit out the game as a holdout and have Jordan Love start. And it was funny because Aaron came out, and he's like, "Who's who? Balarky is this?" And even Jordan right. Love got in on it. Uh, Matt Flynn got in on it. It was it was great. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's just it's hilarious the, the crap that comes out of the media. No, not at all. Next up, this was to me the game of the week. I mentioned this. I almost picked the Jags because the the Colts haven't beat the Jags since what two thousand? I think I said two thousand fourteen. Um, yeah. the Jags came out to play. Yeah. They came out to play. They had, you know, and this, we talked about the lines. This was an important win for them. 
massively important win for their future. You, you just lost your head coach, toxic head coach. That That's going to be a problem for your rebuild just by itself. Um, to come out and win like this right before you're opening up, this is going to be a great thing for their rebuild. And I, I don't think they're far off from a rebuild. I think they have some amazing pieces to this team. I mean, you, you've had some very unfortunate things like Leonard, Leonard Fournette. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, didn't work out. I mean, I, I remember Justin Blackman not working out. The, this right. team has some real bad problems taking real high early picks and them not working out. You know, Blake Bortles. You, we, we could go on and on with this team. So hopefully Trevor Lawrence is going to be that guy for them. Yeah, we finally can seen move a good on. game out of him, right? Mm -hmm. You know, he had a good game. I think one of the biggest uh, things on the Colts' side is their loss put them out of the playoffs. Yeah, and when we talk about the Colts, the Colts have slobber knockers, and very good teams. And we're talking – GM. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, the Colts have had a MVP candidate, in just uh, Jonathan Taylor. Mm -hmm. You had a comeback uh, candidate in Carson Wentz. They, their defense is rock solid. You know, supposed to be rock solid, and this team just fell apart on a win and in against the worst team in the NFL. It's just yeah, mind blowing. I think it was the GM too, or somebody on the team. I'm pretty sure it's a GM. Is that they're not committing to Carson Wentz for the 2022 season? And that blows and my mind. Somebody was saying, yeah, I, 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 it doesn't blow my mind. This game, I think it may have been an, uh, you know, an, I, I think it might have been a frustration for them not winning this game. That maybe that's why it came out that way. I think um, it's more to do with coaching. I still think you can build on this team. This team is still team is a great strong. team. You build on that, you know, O line, D line again. Maybe there's some key other players that they need. You know, you don't have much. You don't have much for this the team. Could be pretty good next year too, with you know the the current quarterback and, and running back situation they're in mm -hmm. move on to the next game next up we had kind of a you know we talked earlier about off stream about some of those games that just don't matter uh we say that but these te these games matter to these teams you know winning the last game of the season is important chopping my mic real quick uh wa the washington football team soon to have a name washington team uh beat the giants 22 to 7 you know, the, the Giants is really the question for me. I can't wait till a couple weeks from now when we start talking about offseason acquisitions, free agents, where we think people are going to go, the draft. Because uh, the Giants are the most intriguing team to me. They have some really big named players, some players that have high potential, high ceiling players, but just have not been performing or have had massive injuries or in some of the cases of like Kenny Galladay, a top receiver who has not been playing like a top receiver with injuries. When I've watched him play, when I watch giants games, it's not the same receiver that was out there when I would watch the lions. He's not, he is an amazing run blocker. You wouldn't know that by watching giants games. Yeah, uh, I don't know what to say about these two teams. You know, even um, Daniel Jones didn't play. Um, you know, on, on the Giants' side, on, on Washington, Tyler Haneke. I think there's a lot of questions on quarterback, even with Daniel Jones, um, you know, with injuries that he's been going through throughout the year. Um, you know, Saquon did play, but he had 11 carries, 30 yards, didn't do much. Um you know, Washington side, Antonio Gibson. I haven't really seen this guy play much, but he had 21 carries, 100, almost 150 yards and a touchdown. That's he's, a pretty he's good. really good. He was a, a highly good, uh, put it this way. Good day. Um, in some drafts, he was going first round, second round. He was highly okay. toted running back. So, you know, there's some upside with these teams. I think we'll see how the offseason goes with them and mm -hmm. kind of go from there, you know. For sure. Uh, next up, we had, and this was another one of those games that's important to uh, how you end the season, especially for the Vikings. Vikings beating the Bears 31-17. to uh, Really important. Really important game for them as well. 
Um, other than that, nothing to me. There, there was no real like uh, headlines to talk about this game. Well, with this game, both head coaches were fired. <laughs> that's GMs. the that's the news. That's the biggest headline, right? <laughs> yeah, you're both right. Head coaches and GMs. The GM was longstanding on both these teams. Rick Spielman, Spielman on um, uh, Vikings. I can't remember the other guy's name. It's blank, and I just saw, just was watching this, and I, I'm blanking on it. Anyway, they both, they're both canned. They're both gone. So, this is a new, fresh on these teams. You know, I was looking at, I was weighing, like, man, if I was a head coach, if I had to pick these two teams, who would I pick? Like right now, I'd probably pick Chicago because I think Justin Fields has the most up potential out of the quarterbacks in this scenario in this in, on these teams. Uh, I think I th- still think Chicago's got a good defense. They had a couple pieces they need. Um, so this this was the biggest thing for these teams was, uh, yeah, head coaches and GMs gone. Longstanding GMs, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what they do in the off off season. I know there's some talk about coaches and stuff already. I, I, we'll, we'll get into that probably here in the next f- f- few weeks or something. But For sure, definitely. It's, it's, uh, it's exciting to see what they're going to be doing. Um, and where they warrant, I don't know. I mean – like the Vikings, Jefferson, amazing wide receiver, right? A- Rookie. Absolutely. Had, a great, had a great year. I mean, could you imagine coming there uh, and throwing him all the time? You know, and Kirk Cousins mm-hmm. didn't have the best a year with it. But uh, there's a lot of potential for both these teams to do really well and make a huge bounce back next year. So, I agree 100%. Next up, we have the Tennessee Titans, Titans almost losing to the Texans. This was actually a close game, but I've talked about this. Um, where I feel like the, the Titans lose to bad teams, and they almost lost to the Texans. Uh, but the Titans winning and solidifying their their seed. Their number one overall. You know, first round by moving on home field advantage throughout the playoffs. I think that's going to be pretty big for Tennessee. Uh, another team we're going to talk about next week about healthy players coming back. This, to me, this is the most dangerous team when we talk about health wise. This is the, the team that I want to watch. I am most excited for green Bay and this team, the two number ones. These mm-hmm. are the ones now with that said, do I, I don't know if I would pick them to go to the super bowl, I'm just saying they're the most dangerous and healthy. Mm-hmm. We know week by week that could change in a week. <laughs> One player right. gets hurt. That's right. it. Your center, yeah. your your yeah. center's played all year, gets hurt. You were probably gonna have some problems. Mm-hmm. You better hope they've been working on that. You know, the different positions and transitioning and different to other ones because you're gonna need that through the playoffs. There's no. They don't, they don't, there's no forgiveness on that. You know, I think the biggest thing is Derrick Henry. Is he actually going to play? Um, but is that even going to help them? How, he's been out for how long? You know what I mean? How, how ready is he going to be? Usually it takes two to three games where somebody's actually going to be playing well and, and doing well and getting back into the swing of things for live reps. So I don't know if that's even going to happen. I haven't heard any more about that. I don't know if you have um, on Derrick Henry. Mm-hmm. But uh, but overall, it was it was this was like the first, I think maybe the first time, uh, Ryan Tannehill had had four touchdown passes in a game. The, typically, Damn. he's been the yeah. one not to lose the game. He had almost three hundred yards, four four touchdowns, twenty three or thirty two. He had a really good game. I've been kind of like hesitant about him all year because it's been like. He's just there to, you know, not to lose the game. And he's been having some issues up and down. You know, he's had some bad, bad games. But uh, this was a really big game for him in getting his motivation and getting his confidence back uh, and going into the playoffs. I think that's that's huge. Now, will we see consistency in him doing the same thing next week or the next time they play? I don't know. You know, that's yeah. that's time will tell on that. So we'll see. Very, but. very important question right there. But I'm uh, I'm excited to watch them play. I'm I'm excited about the playoffs. Oh, okay. me, me, speaking of playoffs, one okay. of the Pittsburgh, you made oh, they're, it, they're baby. Done. One and done, son. 
I big bet this might be the fire, the catalyst, the it's, witch. No, it is. is last it is the catalyst, baby. Did you see the meme this... I shared with you? That was going to oh. be the picture oh. that I was gonna post up. It was it's a Big Ben's retirement party invitation. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, hey, that you already picked your team on this, so I don't you know. What did you, you think of this you game? That's what I want to know. Um, I was hoping it would end in a tie. Literally, like that was the worst case scenario for me, like a best case scenario. I didn't want either one to win, you know. Um, <laughs> it was a good game, you know. They're they're gritty. They're fighting back and forth. A lot of field goals, of course. Um, Pittsburgh winning uh, put out put Baltimore out, which. I don't think that's what put Baltimore out. What put Baltimore out is Lamar Jackson not being in, right? We talked about that almost the beginning of the year. If Lamar Jackson is not playing, this team is going to struggle. Um, you know, Huntley came in, been playing well up to this game, did not have a really good game, right? <laughs> And uh, it just showed that you needed needed to have Lamar Jackson playing, and it just it hurt them. Um, mm -hmm. Ben Ben didn't play great, you know. He had a touchdown interception, two hundred forty four yards, you know. So I I still think this is this is their last. What's really been amazing on this team is not their offense, defense. T.J. Watt tying the record for most sacks, right? 22 yep. and a half, I think it was. Um, but let's put an asterisk on that. That was one more game than uh, what the record was. It was on a 16 game, not 17. Um, gosh, I'm, why am I blanking on his name? Who was the leader? What's his name? Four. For, for sacks. Oh. Um, um, Giants. Michael Strahan. There you go, Strahan, right? So he did it in seven, you know, sixteen games, not not seventeen. So I don't know how they're gonna show all that, but anyway, I mean, it's a game that <laughs> me as a fan did not care for who who won or lost. Uh, preferably a tie would have been better, but um, <laughs> I was happy right? Pittsburgh made it. I'm excited. <laughs> this is actually I, exciting. Not, There's some crappy people on this team. Uh, you know, like people that need help, you know, um, Claypool is one of those guys that he, he, yeah, I hope he, I hope he's better now. I really do. I hope he's better. But, uh, from the past, he's, he's, and I will say there was a moment where, um, another one of the players in the Pittsburgh Steelers started fighting with like, like they're beating the Ravens at this point. And, um, he starts to fight a Raven player and, uh, Claypool comes up to him, starts talking to him like, shut up, shut up, calm down. <laughs> like don't get a penalty i swear to god right and it, it was a it was a good thing to see for this young kid very young talented kid who's just got some things you know got to get over this diva thing right but uh let's move on uh next up we had the practice squad bear of uh, browns beating the Bengals 21 to 16 yeah yeah this didn't really do much you know uh, more confidence like we've seen in the past either team it didn't matter if they won or lost in this game. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Baker Mayfield did not play because he was having surgery. Uh, he has it on the 19th, I think, coming up. So that's why he, he didn't play. He didn't have the surgery yet, of course. Um, I know the know, Browns this... are your team, but I am excited to yeah. talk about the Browns in the offseason. Yeah, I am too. Um, you know, just even you know, short talk, I, I'm, I'm a Baker fan. I, I like him. I think he's going to be. Uh, be there for another year, if not longer, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, I think he just the injury injury kind of hurt them. Um, I think they should have, in my opinion, they should have just pulled Baker after week two and had him at season ending surgery and just case Keenum and got someone else. I think that would have been the best route. That we didn't. I don't see how we could have done any better. We had an injury riddled quarterback. You could have had somebody in there that was healthier, mm. Case Keenum, and you could have had someone else. As in the someone, no, I'm good. No. Uh, I, I would have been fine with that. I think that would have been 
okay. I think that would have been the best case scenario because if you did, there's potential of him coming back. And if we were at playoff bound, potential of him coming back during that time and then being already ready for next year. So um, that's what we'll talk more in depth about that too because I'm excited about this team. I think uh, I think we need to see some better play on our, our defense. Um, they weren't great this year again. Better than last year, but not not much better. Um, yeah. So this came, you know, made us eight and nine. It's it's disappointing because last year we were eleven and five. Um, you know, we'll see. So next up, this was a this this was other than the Jags Colts. It to me, this was the other game of the week. Um, the Rams losing to the 49ers, and to me, a pretty heartbreaking fashion here. Actually, I take that back. There's one game that is clearly the game of the week, which we will get to yes. last. <laughs> but um, the Rams, uh, this was a tough loss for them. Uh, 49ers winning this game, getting into the playoffs. Th- this was uh, rather rough. Like I, yeah, both, I, I'm high on the Rams, weren't... and I'm still pretty high on the Rams. But the 49ers just outplayed them. Oh yeah. In the yeah, end, I'm, they they I'm, won. I'm not high on the Rams. I, I've told you that from the beginning. I think this is a one and done team in the playoffs, and mm-hmm. um, and you know, one and done as in getting beat pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, by whoever I don't I don't even know who they're playing. I know they have matchup already, but I don't even know they're playing yet. We'll talk. Uh, too about that as well but um you know the saving grace on this team though is cooper cup just being consistent leading i mean every time i look at him he's getting at least 100 yards a game right um you know obj your buddy there got two catches for 18 yards on five targets interception of course was another one that he was a part of bad throw but it was a forced throw, so. Is there next having a, yeah, just having a little uh, yeah. emergency <laughs> moment here. <laughs> all good, though. All good. Nothing too serious. Just making Duck pick up the work here. Uh, all right. Next well, up. Let's, let's move on to the next one. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm already there, baby cakes. All right. All right, go ahead. Bucks I, giving it. the shellacking to the Panthers, forty-one to seventeen. Antonio Brown still going? He's gone. Still There's gone. No coming back. No, the the he uh, I, I took everything in me not to put another Antonio Brown meme up here. Uh, I I think this team's in a okay place. I don't think they're as uh well off as they were last year. With people coming back, I think the defense is getting better. But the, t- Tom Brady's always known for playoff Brady, so uh, you know we'll we'll see, we'll see. We see Gronkowski like we did in this game. <laughs> there, there's, mm-hmm. it's gonna be a hard team to stop, right? I mean, Gronk was there. Mike Evans did great too. Um, you know, I, I don't think they're missing a baby at all. No, stuff, and we've talked about other his... players stepping up on this team, and I think those are the players we're going to see. I think this – was this game after he did his little podcast, you know, I'm the greatest on that team, anybody else better than me? I know, don't his, know his when was when. Um, I think it was after. I, remember, I think he did the podcast it, after. Okay. It could have been before, but it still though. showed that they didn't – they don't need him. They They're don't. Good without him. They don't. <laughs> Uh, next up, though, we had the Seattle Seahawks beating the Cardinals. This was another win the Seattle Seahawks needed to move on to next year. Really happy for them. It's good to see him. You know, this is what you need to rebuild or, you know, in some cases not rebuild, but move to the next level and get better next year. Cardinals wise, this slightly concerning, but they're still in, got some injuries they need to improve from. Yeah, this is this is slightly this is a major concern for the Cardinals. Um, this is another team that I don't know if they'll win their first game in the playoffs. Um, this was a bad loss that they shouldn't shouldn't have lost. This more was on Russell Wilson 
showing that he still has it. He still can do well. Uh, he had a pretty good game. Even the, which helps is Rashad Rashad Penny had almost 200 yards rushing. You know that mm-hmm. was good too. Um, you know Russell had a had what three touchdown passes and a rushing touchdown. So unless that three, I think may be included. I don't know. Anyway, but if, if anybody saw the tweeter, the tweeter pick tweeter. from uh from Russell Wilson, it it was eerily similar. To the Tom Brady picture, okay, about him uh, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Say, <laughs> I think I think we're gonna see Wilson on a different team next year. I hope so. we do, and it'll be good for him as well. Uh, next up, we have the Dolphins just so beaten up the Patriots. The pa- the Dolphins own the Patriots, but more importantly, mm-hmm. the Dolphins fired their head coach. Yeah, and what After I've heard finish, is what I've heard eight and one. The, Over the last nine games. He will find a job soon. He, his record with the Dolphins is really good. What I've yep. heard is the GM and Tua, it, it, as one reporter put it, they they could sum it up with one word: relationships. His relationship with Tua and the GM have been severed, and to rebuild the team, they they needed to get rid of the head coach, which blows my mind but i guess if you are a gm and you are sold on tua this is the move you're gonna make i'm not sold on it right. i'm not sold right. on it um no. i'm also i've never i haven't really ever been sold on tua either but i'm not the right. gm and to the gm's point it's probably him or the gm you know the, if you're having that big of a rift and, I, and from yeah, I, it's just a lot of internal is from what I'm hearing. You know, a lot of internal uh, mm-hmm. issues, whether it's just the quarterback, whether it is the GM as well, or whatever it is. Um, I think this guy has a lot of potential as being a good, good, um, in the right, in the right team. I think that was the biggest issue. I think there was just some issues, but becoming eight and one over the last nine games. How how do you fire someone after that? You know, I think. I wonder if it's if it's something else within that team to to make them get rid of a coach like this that was playing you know doing pretty well so and making the right decisions so so I don't know I mean even whoops even um, picking up Duke Johnson like they did you know he played for the Browns mm-hmm. he had a great game 172 yards a touchdown 25 carries uh, you know, the, the, even over Philip Lindsay we've seen Philip Lindsay play really good in the Broncos. Yes, we have. That injury after that injury he hasn't been as as do- dominant as he was, but still, it's just uh, this team is whoever comes to coach this team has a lot of good parts already in place. So I, um, I, I you know me, what the though, biggest question, gonna... the biggest question is quarterback. You know, I'm not I'm not a huge on on Tua either. But... I think they're going to have a very hard time finding a head coach because here's the problem: you just had a very highly toted. Head coach, who's going to be I, – and I have no doubt he's going to be a head coach of a team here. You just had you, – you the GM just fired a coach that went 8-1. and one. You think any highly toted coach is going to want to go to Miami after that? They're going to be very hesitant and about – reports are Flores wanted I, – I think it was uh, – the, instead of them drafting Waddle, he wanted to draft Herbert. Or it, mm-hmm. it was either Waddle or they drafted two the instead of Herbert. They wanted her. Yeah, they passed passed on on Herbert to get Tua. Yeah, so like that. That's it, it's really tough. I mean, I'm not. I, if I was a head coach, I mean, as a, if you, if you just want to be head coach, you're gonna go anywhere you want. But the the people who have their pick of the litter, I don't think they're going to Miami. Right. But you know, we shall see. Uh, next up, we have the uh, Saints beating the Falcons. Saints needed to win this game, and I took the Falcons for this game too, because uh, the Saints have failed me all year. For the record, they have failed me all year. Well, guess what? If the 49ers lost and the Saints won, they made the playoffs. The Saints put the pressure on. They won their game, and uh, unfortunately for the Saints, the 49ers won theirs. It was that simple. But uh, again, yep. we had. We had two, you know, duo quarterback going on in this game. So, who, you know, I, I don't even know how the Saints won that with that that kind of play. Matt Ryan had potential to win this game. 
but you know, it was Matt Ryan. Cordell Patterson wasn't, you know, dynamic like he has been in almost all the rest of the whole season. Um it's just two teams uh looking in from the outside, right? Yep, absolutely. Next up, just brief real brief quick, uh Bills beat the, the Jets twenty seven to ten. Mm-hmm. Uh just Bills being the Bills, it's going to be interesting to see them throughout the playoffs. But uh, I don't think there was too much with this game that I, I we need to discuss. Um, next up, though, we oh. have – I'm sorry, go ahead. Nope, we're good. Uh, last but not least, uh, does this – I've said it twice already, game of the week. Uh, th- this game one. of the year? Game <laughs> of the year, maybe? <laughs> we talked about this game that uh, if the Jags beat the Colts, I did not want them to – have a tie i didn't want them to intentionally tie not play the game uh these two teams put their hearts souls out in the field and at the by the time we got to overtime i'm like if they tie i'm okay with it if they purposely take knees i'm okay i'm okay this was a, this was an insane game to come back the way they did uh it's insane i would I mean, be how happy many teams, how, how many first fourth down and nine or ten did they go for six? Oh. Four or six or something like that. I mean, Herbert, his second year in quarterback, right? This is mm-hmm. his second year, 64 attempts on passing. That's a ridiculous amount of passing happening. They barely ran the game, you know, ran that much. Um, it's – I won't use your my favorite word that I've been like to use. You know what I mean? It starts with the S, ends with the D. <laughs> but this game was pretty close to that because – you we can't saw a lot of do that chatter. crazy stuff. You, you, there was a lot of sideline chatter about you know what they should have been doing or what was supposed to be happening. Is what and it you know didn't what I mean? Happen. So cameras, cameras don't lie, right? <laughs> cameras don't lie. <laughs> yeah, we were gonna need the ball, dude. But see, if it was scripted, if in your words, scripted, scripted, they would have just kneeled it. Well, maybe it's maybe that <laughs> but wasn't the drama the maybe, of the Chargers coach. Like, you know what? Time script. out. When we get the fourth down, we want the ball back with some time. Maybe, listen, maybe what? this was the script. This this was it. Maybe it was to make it look like it was close, so that it didn't Not look at like all. it wasn't. Script. Come on now. Yeah. Not it's always going to be the back of my mind. Okay. But with that it said, might be on the back burner. That but, is. Yeah. Those are the last season picks for us. The last regular season games. We ended in a tie. Unbelievable. It was fun duking it out with you, Duck. We're not yes, done yet, though. We was. have the playoff picks oh, for yeah. the belt, baby. For the belt. Who be will be wearing, wearing the belt, belt mm-hmm. next year? This is it. We're going to sudden death. We couldn't finish it in regulation. We couldn't pin each other. We got to drop the steel cage. And we're ready to fight it out, baby. With that said, let's get into some power rankings. The last power rankings of this year that we will be criticizing. Yo, yes. We'll go through them pretty quick because, uh, you know, we'll get up to the top 10 and talk about them. Anyway, New York Giants ended at 32. I Finally. Think after the wins, wins from the Jackson and the Lions, you know, put them there. Uh, Jacksonville's at 31. Carolina Panthers, 30. Five wins, and they're, they're ranked 30. It's a pretty rough year for them, even even with, uh, you know, the quarterback play going back and forth and multiple quarterbacks, multiple figuring out what's going on. This team's got a lot, a lot of questions, a lot of question marks. Uh, Jets moved back to 29. The Lions moved up to 28. Um, anything about the Lions you want to talk about? 28, baby. 28. We're in the 20s, baby. You know, We're in the 20s. You know, a little bit better than, the, than mm-hmm. we thought. Top they one would third be. of the league, baby. Let's go. <laughs> right. Houston Texans are 27. They stayed there. Washington stayed at 26. Falcons moved back three to 25. Bears moved back one to 24. Broncos moved up two to 23. Uh, Baltimore moved back three to 22. Baltimore taking a massive step backwards from last year. Uh, Vikings stayed pat at 21. Browns stayed pat at 20. This team 
there's a lot of question marks. Uh, a lot of injuries we had this year that kind of really hurt us. I think if Baker comes back healthy, has no problems with his surgery, no issues, you know, coming back and ready to go, and we get that offensive def defensive line shored up even better, um, potential this team doing a lot better next year. And wide receiver. We need some wide receivers. Yes, you do. Seattle Seahawks. I, that's what I want their first pick to be as a, as a wide receiver. Mm -hmm. I would love for them to pick Chris Olave from Ohio State. You know who my favorite receiver for the Browns was? Mm. Josh the Flash Gordon. Yeah, if he didn't have so many stupid issues, that kid could have been amazing. He, right? as someone who's he taken now? time, he was in Seattle at one point. He he's with KC right now. KC. Okay. Yeah, and he's not as he's nowhere near entertaining yeah. to watch. Like as someone who watched wow. Calvin Johnson play, watching Josh Gordon play early on, it was very mm -hmm. similar. It just a dominating force on the field. Would have been a major freak. Yeah, people at two. that size. Do not oh, yeah. deserve to do that, <laughs> like those things. And right, um, in Seattle, talking about Seattle, what what's the other what's the guy that they picked up? Um, their wide receiver, kind of similar to Josh DK Gordon Metcalf. Bill. Yeah, I, I thought DK Metcalf would be an amazing. Wide he receiver. looks like to me. DK looks like he right? could be that guy. His route tree is not there. That's his problem. Right. You know, you could that, give yeah. Calvin any route tree. Yeah, you know he Calvin could do a hard slant. I you can't. Right. I don't see DKF doing hard slants. I don't. You know, in and outs right. don't seem to be his forte. I mean, that doesn't mean he can't do them. It just means that he right. doesn't. I think that's something he he's needs to work not on elusive with sure. it. If he works on that in the off season, I think he can be a pretty mm -hmm. dominant wide receiver in, in, in the off season. Um, you know, Seattle did end up in the top twenty. You know, ranked nineteen, moved up five spots. New Orleans Saints moved back two to eighteen. Uh, Miami Dolphins stayed at 17, you know, which is – this team didn't finish that bad as as they started the season off. Uh, so uh, Colts moved back five from 11 to 16. Uh, Los Angeles Chargers moved back two to 15. Pittsburgh Steelers moved up four from 18 to 14. I don't agree with that. They should be ranked 32. Um, Philadelphia Eagles moved from uh, 14 to 13. Las Vegas Raiders moved up three spots to 12. Cardinals moved out of the top 10 to rank 11. I think that's a pretty big thing from the way that this team started off the year. Uh, they didn't finish great, so we're going to see how the playoffs turn out for them. Mm -hmm. New England Patriots moved um, from 8 to 10, still in the top 10. Dallas Cowboys moved back. Uh, from 10 to 9. Um, Los Angeles Rams moved out from rank number 2 to 8 after their loss. I never had these guys up that high. So, um, moving him that drastic, it seems like a drastic move. They should have already been at 6 or 7 anyway from the beginning. And then you wouldn't have had to move them that far. Uh, San Fran moved up from 12 to 7 after their win. Moved up 5 spots. Bengals moved back five uh, from five to six. Buffalo moved up one to five. Excuse me. Oh, man. My nose is itchy. Oh, good. I am just going to... Tennessee uh, Titans go ahead. moved up from seven to four, up to three. What's that? I was just going to comment. Just uh, San, San Fran being seven just is really odd to me. Well, I'm not, I'm not big the, on the that. Strong. Right, right. I get it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, if you go by just record, I understand that. You know, L.A. has a better record. Dallas has a better. I think Dallas should be in front of San Fran. Uh, it, L.A. should even be in front of San Fran as well. I, I think that's um, where I'm seeing some of these teams where I'm like, I, I, I you know, when we get in the picks, it, it would probably show. I mean, who knows? I might take San Fran. You never know where I'm going. Right, right. Um, You know, Tennessee's at four, like we said. Kansas City still ranked three. They moved up four to three. You got Tampa Bay at two, and then Green Bay at one. So, um, like I, I'm almost like not three, willing I'm to put Tampa at three. two. I love Brady. Uh, I, I just don't know if this team is at that level at the moment. Doesn't mean that I don't think they could win the Super Bowl or will win the Super Bowl. I just think there are teams that I think are above them. Just like I think there's teams that are above KC right now. Uh, I. 
I don't agree. I think there's nobody above the top three, and I think those those you don't think are the Titans for the, the top are going to walk all no. over KC? No, out your mind. Not at all. You are out your mind. Now, Not, with that said, no with that said, no chance. Well, we're going to be putting our money where our mouth is soon enough, probably. But according to me, they're not going to make it that far. Mm. Well, let's get the fisty cups out. The pickings to Bring the readies. It. Now, we are tied. So we actually have to figure out how we are going to decide who picks first. You know what? I'm going to be the gentleman and allow Duck to make the choice if he would like to pick first. I'll be darned. I'll pick first. All right. First up, we have the Bengals. The number four seed hosting the red hot Las Vegas Raiders. Red hot. But I am going uh, the Bengals on this one. You're going with the Home Bengals. Game. Home game. Home game. Bengals. Joe Burrow is going to be on point. I, I, feel, I feel the Raiders are going to just. This is where the moment that they come and they falter. I 100% agree with you because here's why. Chase. Right? Chase. Right. Jamar Chase. I think Who's you're going to see an overall up? complete team on this Bengals play. So. Mm -hmm. I think it's the Bengals time, baby, and that's where I think it's going to go. Next up, we have the Buffalo Bills, the three seed at home against the New England Patriots, who already beat them at home. But I'm going with the Buffalo Bills because if it wasn't raining, snowing, 130-mile-per-hour wins, the Buffalo Bills win that game. I'm going Buffalo. Well, this is the first game we differ on. I'm going with Pats on this one. I think the Pats have a potential to, to win this game. Uh, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Total better coaching This staff, is playoff football, overall. baby. Good good. Two good teams. But, yeah, I think I'm going to go the Pats on this one. All right. I don't oh. have any writing utensils down here. It's not good. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I'm changing your picks. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have the Duck picking. I, I remember you saying the Eagles were going to win this game. So, we'll see if he really says where he's going. Not after that last we game. We have the, the Bucks hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, if the – if we would have seen better play out of the Eagles from the last game of the season, mm -hmm. I probably would have said yeah. But no, they played awful. This um, is a Tampa good Bay. trap game. Tampa Bay is 100% going to win this game. Uh, I, I'm 100% on board. But I, I would be still – I think the Eagles have a chance to win this game. I would still be completely shocked if they did, though. I keep wanting to push the arrow to, like – move the slide no no yeah all right next up this is probably where it really gets interesting to me uh, where i want to pick we have the dallas cowboys hosting the 49ers <sighs> this is a toughie i'm going to go with dallas but man is it hard after the 49ers played the way they did last week and I think this team mm -hmm. can be more physical than Dallas because there's times where we watch Dallas and we watch them play some pretty terrible football. Like the, out of all the games, this is the one where I, I would not be shocked if the 49ers win. And I might be rooting for the 49ers because I think they are a way more physical team than Dallas. And I yeah, could see them when I'm, I'm almost talking myself out of it. I am almost talking myself out of it. I kind of wish I didn't pick first. Don't, don't be silly. Don't be silly. I, 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 Dallas scored, put up 51 points on the last I game, don't care you know, about the pick Eagles. at 51. That was a big, that was a big scoring for them. I, I'm, I'm going Dallas on this as well. I think, like you said, I think this can go both ways. Um, but I think you're going to see, I'm, I'm really sold on Dallas this year. So I don't think they're going to win Super Bowl, but I think they have potential to win a couple of playoff games. I, I'm, I'm. It's hard. It is still so hard. I'm, I'm. I'm not officially taking the Cowboys for the record. Yeah. I'm. Hey, it's, you already did. Ugh, I. Mm, mm. You called it. Mm -mm, There's mm -mm, no, no mm. takey backies. <laughs> I'm going to take the Cowboys. 
but it is hard to pick the Cowboys. Next up, though, we have Duck up first. The Kansas City Chiefs are hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers. Red hot so Pittsburgh let me, Steelers. Let me, let me tell you, red hot, red hot. My eye. Out of the odds, I already of know where you're games, going. Listen, out of the odds of any of these games, there's no game close to to how big the odds are of Kansas City win this game. Okay, picking Kansas City, hundred percent. Kansas City's gonna kill Pittsburgh. This is Ben's gonna go out in the worst style of all time, right here. Okay, interceptions galore. This game is over already. You just just it's over. Kansas City wins. No. Yeah, one. Oh, no, 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 no. This is going to be my. This, this, this is my Magnus Opus right here. This is my masterpiece. This, this is where I am taking the Mahomies, taking them to the top of the mountain and rock botting them, rock botting them straight down. Mount Everest, yeah. right down. They probably can't even make it that high. They're going down. Ben Roethlisberger is going on a fairy tale. One win week where he rides it out. He takes down the Mahomies and takes them to the next week. He will lose next week. Promise you that. But this is the week he takes the Mahomies out. You think so? I'm, I, I'm not saying do I think week. I know so I'm going to clip this and next week TJ Watt will Kansas have City five call. sacks five five sacks he is going to just he's going to pick down. Mahomes ribs no like a freak just straight up oh gosh this is amazing I can't wait to clip this and replay it next Najee week Najee Harris will have 250 <laughs> All purpose yards. Oh, I thought you were going to say rushing. I was about to. <laughs> I know what? 300 all purpose yards. Very Big Ben rushing. will have four touchdowns. Oh, my gosh. He's Maybe digging. five. He's just digging. By the first half. All right. No, I'm not, not the he first home. half. For, for, he will have five. I'm telling you right now, the Pittsburgh Steelers win this game. There, you, you look at the all right. Look, the Chiefs expect to be there. The Chiefs expect to be there. They expect to beat the Steelers. They not only that, Vegas, who's never wrong, right? Never expects the Chiefs to raffle stop the Steelers. If the Steelers go out there and even make this game competitive, the Chiefs will be shitting themselves. Well, guess what? The Steelers are going to pop them in the mouth and just carry them. Yeah. Are you done? No. Are, are you done? Next up, my last pick. <laughs> the Los Angeles Rams are hosting the Cardinals. This is the hardest game for me to pick. I love both these teams. These are my forever teams right this year. I've been high on the Cardinals all year. I love Stafford. I can never pick against them. It's why I'm going the Rams. Yeah, and I remember I, I said, I think both these teams are going to lose in the first round. It's not possible. Yeah, can't happen, um, buddy. So I have to, I have to pick one of them to lose, and that's going to be the Cardinals. So I'm picking LA to win this um, home game. I think Cardinals are just not finishing strong, even worse than LA is at the beginning end of the year. So um, LA wins this by a touchdown, at least, maybe more. Maybe OBJ, you know, gets a touchdown. Make him think he's he's better <laughs> than everybody else. Uh, I don't know. All so, right. we differ in only two picks. Two picks. We're going to go over the games right now. Uh, we both picked the Bengals to win. Mm -hmm. We differ in the Bills-Patriots game. It's very unfortunate you're going to lose that one pretty handily. Nah. We agree nah. with the Bucks. We agree slightly with the Cowboys. We differ unbelievably oh, really gonna on the Steelers and Chiefs. Thumps. Oh, my gosh. And we agree on the Chiefs. Rams. This is playoff time. This is the big boy. This is the cage match, okay? I didn't come here to make soft picks, okay? 
The mm. Cowboys and oh. 49ers game is as soft as you're going to get, and I barely picked mm. them. All right? Mm. But when it comes to making the big boy picks, Daddy James is here to tell you the Steelers are going to beat the Chiefs oh, with confidence. Gosh. Okay? That's not me holding back. I'm telling you with confidence. 300 all-purpose yards from Najee Harris. Five touchdowns from Big Ben. Five sacks from T.J. Watt. Has a has has anybody ever gotten that many sacks in one game? I think you're living in a, mm-hmm. a dreamland over here, buddy. It's not gonna happen, okay? Oh, it's, he's gonna maybe he he'd be lucky to get one sack. They're gonna put so they, much. Duck, on you him understand the if he has game. if he has two sacks in the first quarter, I'm blowing your phone up. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> Yeah, I might not I need to because the moment he gets the first one, you're going to be like, oh, he getting more. And I'm going to be like, no. yep, eat him up. No, this is the only game they're going to see. You, you just. I'm excited. Can't we hope. say anything about it. You know, oh, you're going down, baby. But with that said, we got to wrap it up. We do want to say thank you to everyone who watches our cast. It's exclusively at the moment on YouTube. Please make sure you watch that. Share it with your friends. Enjoy. If you have a, if you maybe differ in our our opinions, let us know in the comments. Like, subscribe, share, all the good stuff. We're growing slowly but surely. This cast is going out. We were here all year long, baby. We'll be talking off season news. So we're excited. I'm excited. It's gonna be all fun year. Let's get it. Let's go have some fun. And from the bottom of our hearts, stay safe. And we'll see you guys next week when Duck's down 2-0. Peace.